to Advanced Test Equipment Rentals video series on communications testing. The three videos in this series are the Fujikara FSM-70S and Ritsu MT-9083A OTDR and the Fluke CertiFiber Pro Optical Loss Test Set. Hi, this is Gabe Alcala here from Advanced Test Equipment Rentals and today we're going to be going over Fuji Kura's 70S Core Alignment Fusion Splicer. We're going to be splicing a single mode fiber cable but before we begin we're going to go over the splicer and its accessories. Each FSM70 rental is going to be shipped in this hard carry case. It's going to include the splicer itself, your workstation, a precision cleaver with its case, a lithium ion battery, an AC adapter with power cord, an interconnect cable to interconnect the battery pack and the AC adapter, some optical cleaning pads, a user manual, a getting started guide, a safety guide, the user manual set on CD, and a USB cable to manage your data files and to upgrade the firmware. Before we begin splicing, we're going to have to make sure both fiber ends are properly cleaved. And for that, we're going to need the fiber itself, which I have 100 meters of single mode fiber. I'm going to need a fiber stripper, that precision cleaver, and the optical cleaning pad. Before I begin cleaving, I'm going to slide the protective sleeve over one side of the fiber. Now I'm going to go ahead and strip the fiber. Now that my fiber is stripped, I'm going to go ahead and slide this down to unlock my cleaver cover. I'm going to open up the fiber holder. I'm going to line the fiber up inside this. Go ahead and close the cover. Press this button to lock the cleaver. And I'm going to slide this down. Now I'm going to remove the fiber from the cleaver and clean it with my alcohol wipe. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the, one of the doors and the other and I'm going to open up the fiber holders. I'm going to go ahead and place this fiber end as close to those electrodes as possible then I'm going to shut the door. Now I'm going to grab the other electrode and place it on the other side and get the door shut. As you can see here we had a successful splice. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the covers and stick the heat shrink in the middle where the splice was. And I'm going to drop it inside the heater. And 15 seconds later, we would have a protected splice. To watch these and other videos in the series, click on the thumbnails below.